guys, I'm going to teach you how to view your iPod touchscreen, or iPhone for that matter, and, and control it from your browser. Now, I'm going to be using Google Chrome. I know it works for sure on that, and that's a free download from Google.com. So anyway, you're going to need to download two applications, and they are Screen Splitter and VNC. And Screen Splitter is spelled, make sure you get this right. S C R E E N S P L I T R and V N C is spelled V E E N C Y. So once you get those two, I'm gonna provide you with a link, and this is for PC users. Mac users, I'm pretty sure, not positive, that you can use this. You can like use the program Bonjour. It never really works on Windows, so the developers provided me with this link. So you're going to insert your IP address into the very beginning. And if you're not sure how to get your IP address, either SP, either open SP settings and it'll tell you, or go into settings, go into settings, Wi-Fi, Click the little arrow next to your network, and then it'll tell your IP address. But I'm going to block mine. So anyway, make sure you have Screen Splitter on. Once you get the icon, you'll hit the application. It'll open and close, and you'll see a little badge at the top that says on. So we're going to hit enter. Once we type in that link I've read you, make sure you look in the video description. And you're going to see a screen that looks like this. You're going to hit experimental, a little link right there. And make sure you hit accept when it comes up on your iPod. So we'll wait a couple seconds for this to load. We'll refresh it. Yet again, hit accept. And you see, now you have my iPod Touch. And now I'm going to control it from my computer. So, I'm going to open the settings application from my computer. You'll see, I move the little pointer to settings. I hit click. And you'll see that opens right up. And the same happens right here. To make sure this is working, you're going to see, it'll be hard to see on mine. But you're going to see a little red thing, a red V, right next to the battery on both screens. So, if you have to make a presentation, this is great. So, I wouldn't recommend this for, like, playing games and stuff. But, you know, if you just have to use a calculator and you just want to use this, it's it's pretty cool to show off. So, no, you hit the ca calculator. You know, five times five equals and you know it's just like a phantom operating it and you know you can go to your mom and be like oh my gosh someone hacked into my ipod i don't know what's happening it's just a really cool trick to know and you can even watch movies you know if you have if you have a movie and you will watch it on your um computer and <coughs> you need wi-fi to do this and both the iPod and the laptop or the computer must be on the same network. So make sure you're on the same wireless network. Also, you can um, control this display from your iPod. I'll open up Winterboard. And you can see some custom themes. And this does lag, but usually I've noticed that there's no lag on the iPod, it's all on the screen. So, you know, I may, like, I can go like this, and my iPod readily, like, you know, does it fast. So, yeah. And obviously, if you have a really fast wireless network, then this won't be so slow. And this is just cool. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, Please leave a comment and or message me 
and also I will have some more videos up soon so please subscribe and if this works for you please leave a comment also thanks